Hello there, you're watching Press TV. I'm Mehdi Yazdani with a summary of the latest world news. Russia says it will resort to military force if the new U.S. Czech Missile Defense Agreement is ratified. Russia's foreign ministry made the threats only hours after U.S. and Czech officials reached an initial agreement on the issue. The agreement, signed in Prague on Tuesday, would start the deployment of elements of a U.S. missile defense system in the Czech Republic. Russia says the system would severely undermine European security balances. Iraq has once again called on Washington to set a timetable for the withdrawal of U.S. troops from the country. Iraqi National Security Advisor Muafak al-Rabai says any security treaty with the United States will be rejected unless America includes a timetable for the withdrawal of its forces. The Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki had made a similar demand yesterday. But the Pentagon said a timetable cannot be fixed because it depends on the security situation on the ground in Iraq. The Deputy Speaker of Iraq's parliament is also saying parliament will veto the security treaty if American troops remain immune from Iraqi law. I don't think Iraq's parliament will agree on the immunity that renders U.S. troops completely outside of Iraqi jurisdiction and law. If the two sides reach an agreement, this is between the two countries, and according to the Iraqi constitution, a national agreement must be agreed by the parliament and by a majority of two-thirds. Thus, this agreement should pass through the parliament. The continuing theme of what is called clash of cultures seems to be permeating every corner of the globe. In Egypt, people have invited a group of British citizens to share with them values of the Islamic religion. Our correspondent Ashraf Nagy has more from Cairo. And finally in this broadcast, Syria will soon send an ambassador to France to end a freeze on diplomatic ties between the two countries. A senior Syrian diplomat in London says France has realized that relations with Damascus are important to peace in the Middle East. Damascus and Paris froze all diplomatic ties after Lebanon's former Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri was assassinated. The Syrian President Bashar al-Assad will travel to France to hold talks with French officials over the weekend. It's not clear yet if he will appoint a new ambassador to Paris during his visits. Those were the top stories for now here on Press TV. For more details, please log on to our website, PressTV.com. Thank you for watching.